My name is Lucas, it starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both, and in the meantime, we're not gonna do a specific comparison or talk about one specific issue in today's video. Instead, we're gonna talk about the overall topic of Bamboo Lab PLA Lite. Yes, you heard me right, we are gonna talk about the cheaper version of Bamboo Lab's PLA, which also doesn't even seem to exist, at least not according to their official website. So uh, needless to say, I have lots of different questions and discussion points I wanted to talk to you about, uh, including how I managed to get my hands on this and this entire rack of uh, PLA light filament you see behind me right here. And last but not least, also the exact print settings you need to do in Bamboo Studio to avoid getting your print to look like this. But first things first, what is Bamboo Lab PLA Lite? So PLA Lite in general, not specifically related to Bamboo Lab, is uh, just a more cost efficient version of PLA. It's still PLA, but just not as strong and with that also not as expensive compared to the normal version of PLA. Should also mention that there are a lot of other brands that are offering other types of PLA Lite. For example, I think Eason PLA Lite might be the most common one. And if we see what Bamboo Lab themselves are saying about their PLA Lite, they are referring to this as the entry level and the beginner friendly material. And in comparison with their normal PLA, which also are entry level and beginner friendly, I would say that this is also more budget friendly since you will save around 20% compared to getting their normal PLA. Again, not as strong as normal PLA. So for example, if we look at this AMS Lite top mount holder here, I would not print that in PLA Lite because actually even the normal PLA version is starting to fall apart with the, the screw breaking as soon as I try to like tie it up. And I don't really know if we should talk that much about the price because uh, I don't even know if you will be able to, to purchase this. Uh, as you might have already seen from, from the screenshot, uh, I purchased this on Taobao or, or Tmall as uh, they also have it available on. Uh, and honestly, I, th I don't know. I think this might be the only place that you can actually purchase Bamboo Lab PLA Lite. Uh, they are mentioning that this is a new product, but please be aware that I've only been doing 3D printing for like not even three weeks at this point. So I don't know if this is actually a new product or if this was something that like existed before and they like they didn't sell well and, and they took it away because I find it very suspicious that it's not available on any of Bamboo Lab's official websites, like including like the Asia version of their website. You cannot buy this anywhere. And if I try to like search for like reviews on YouTube, there's like nothing. I don't know if I'm just like super early and I'm like the first one who has seen the Bamboo Lab PLA Lite. But regardless, if you do manage to place an order on Taobao, you can actually get, if you're ordering the refill version without the spool, it goes down to seven and a half USD per one kilo and below nine USD. 8.94 if you wanted with a spool as well. And I also did the math of pretending to place an order from Burbank, California, just so you don't have to go through that trouble. And we actually end up with 15.5 USD per one kilo if you wanted all the way to California, including the, the sales tax and all the other uh, <clears throat> fees you might have uh, starting this week. <laughs> uh, so yeah, considering that you can actually just get a normal Bamboo Lab order from their website with a spool for 18 USD if you get their, their four uh, purchase bulk discount. I honestly don't know if it's worth the trouble to, to order this PLA Lite from Taobao uh, because I also have no idea about the shipping. It takes 10 days to get it from, from China here to Taiwan. But speaking about price, I also had one question to you that I hope that you can help me with. I just wanted to check out of curiosity, like where are you guys getting your filaments from and what do you normally pay per kilo. Please do let me know and I hope that everyone can let us know like their best tips and tricks, especially when it comes to getting cheap and good filaments that we can use. So far I have only used Bamboo Labs own PLA and PLA Lite. It works like a charm, but are there any cheaper versions that are just as good or maybe even better? I, I, I don't know how it will be better. One question that I foresee coming, yes, these do come with the RFID tag and it works perfectly in Bamboo Studio, kind
kinda. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. But in terms of uh, the spool and, and the quality on the spool and, and everything, it is exactly like the normal PLA. Although the color of uh, gray and PLA light gray might be a little bit different. But in addition to price, maybe the printing quality is what matters most after all. So I thought that we're gonna do a quick blind test where you're gonna see if you can spot the difference between Bamboo Lab PLA Lite and Bamboo Lab PLA. I'll give you five seconds per print starting now. Okay, okay, I know I tricked you a little bit with the last one there, but let me explain what actually happened during this printing process. If everything goes uh, right, as it should, then I can literally not see any difference between these, these Benjis. Like, if you really, really go into the detail, uh, you can see some differences here and there, but... Uh, in terms of like an overall Lucas grading, 10 out of 10. They're identical, kinda. If you do everything like this guy is doing things, then this is how it actually ends up. Yeah, it blows my mind that this is the same file from Maker World. This is the same printer and the same filament and, and the result ends up looking like this. And I'm gonna explain this print in a little bit more detail in the end of this video because this goes hand in hand with that one setting you definitely need to do in Bamboo Studio. But just quickly talking about this yoga man as well. Again, the, you could maybe see some differences if you really, really, really take a look. But, the, you know, it's, it's 10 out of 10 again. You literally cannot see any difference unless like you're really looking for them. With that said, I was actually recording this entire process and during my first print, one of them failed halfway through. Uh, and this was actually the normal PLA, so not the PLA light. So for the sake of this filament test, I had to reprint the normal PLA version using the, the cool plate super tack. So we do have two final prints. And I just once again want to thank 3D Mart. They're not the sponsor of this video, but I'm just so incredibly grateful for the support since they gave me a brand new A1 so I can make tests like this. It literally would not have been possible without their support. So 3D Mart, thank you so much. And if you are located in Taiwan or Hong Kong, please do check out their website and also contact them if you have any questions whatsoever when it comes to anything 3D printed. But two questions that I can see you having to me is, first of all, is there any weight difference? Is the PLA light lighter? Uh, no. It is not. I weighed both of these. Uh, both these prints combined weighs 25 grams. There's absolutely no difference between the normal one and the PLA light. And the second question you might have is how less strong is the PLA light? Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't have anything that I dare to, to test with. I don't have any professional equipment and I also don't have a filament sponsor yet. And, and I have spent uh, more filaments on these tests and these videos than I have on my actual 3D printing business that was supposed to be launched by now. I am sorry that I don't have all the answers for you, but if you have any more questions, I will do my absolute best trying to help you along on this journey and hopefully also teach you something on the way. And remember the rule we have here on the channel, if you learn one single thing in my videos, uh, please do subscribe to show your support and uh, maybe you will learn something new in the next video as well. For example, did you even know that there was a Bamboo Lab PLA light? But last but not least, what is the one thing you need to do in Bamboo Studio on your computer? Well, the short answer is that you need to use your computer. So this is PLA Lite. It has a different setting or a different profile in Bamboo Studio compared to normal PLA. I try to like go down and really compare like every single setting. And it, there are some few changes. There is like some max volume of, of the filament. And then it's just like the overall density. Other than that, it doesn't seem to be any difference. But uh, just by looking at my prints, I can definitely tell you there is a huge difference. So how did one print end up a total disaster? And how did one print end up looking like perfect, like the best bench I've ever printed? I printed the failed ones using my phone to connect to the printers that had the PLA light 
on the AMS light. But if you are using your phone, there's actually no setting for PLA light. And what I think is happening with, without Bamboo Lab confirming this is that it will just default back to the PLA settings, which again, seems to be completely different compared to the PLA light. But if you are using Bamboo Studio on the computer, specifically version two, then it will actually automatically, again, read the RFID tag that is on these spools and update to PLA light. And that was literally the only thing that was different between <laughs> these two prints. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's also why I had to print it twice because I, I thought I did something wrong, which, I ended up doing, but I don't think it was my fault. And I think that another question you might have is if I recommend using the PLA light over the normal PLA. Uh, yeah, why not? There, there's literally like no difference in, in the prints and I don't print that many things that do need to be like stronger PLA. Uh, the only thing is like the, the top mount holder here in the back, but I have that already and it, it holds up so far. Um, so yeah, save those 20% and, and give me a super thanks when I've hit 4,000 watch hours and my my channel has been monetized and uh, hopefully you can save even more money in the in the long run and also get some more tips and tricks if you do make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do get notified next time i release a video about pla or any other types of filaments or anything else 3d printing related thank you all so much for watching my name is lucas starts with alice in like ends with s as you subscribe please to both and see you all in the next one